Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is taking your plant and garden questions at 270 That's a pretty flower. What is that? The white one? Yeah. Stephanotis. It's so often used in weddings. It's super fragrant and um, it's waxy, so it holds up really well. A lot of times people take them apart and put them on ribbons and that kind of nonsense. What's that green thing? It's, That's a chrysanthemum. It's not, it's not done. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a green chrysanthemum. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's just a nice, fresh, bright color. So, not all crazy, but... Brightens up the house. I think so. They always do. Yeah, we need, we need that this time of year. We oh, have yay, some, a call. We have some calls <laughs> in, but I don't see whose name is on here. So, too early to start seeds? Uh, no, some seeds you can start. Uh, peppers you could start, onions, any of the brassicas like broccoli, cabbage. You could also start um, like any of the flowers that take a long time to to germinate. Impatience, that kind of stuff. Yeah, speaking of impatient, people are getting yes, that way this time of yeah, year. Absolutely. All right, let's get to the calls. We'll start with Shirley in Wanakee. Hi, Shirley. Hi there. Hi, which question? Yes, I have a Christmas cactus. Last year it bloomed from November until April. This year it bloomed once in November, everything bloomed. Now it's starting to put a few buds out, but the, it looks limp. It looks like a, an old dish mop. What am I doing wrong? Well, have, when was the last time you had it repotted? I haven't. Has, it, have you had it like, for a while? Like two years. It might be time to repot it. Sometimes they'll get a little pot bound and then there's just not enough soil in the pot to give the roots any kind of moisture. So. Now that it's kind of done flowering, you could repot it. You could bring it into us. The plant desk guys will repot it for you. Oh, they do? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. That's a nice service. Yeah. Let's go to Lorraine in Wanakee. Hi, Lorraine. Hi. Hi, what's your question? I have a monkey plant, and it's, those are net needles. Is it dead now, or will it come back? Well, do, can you see buds on it? That would be no. the main thing. No buds at no, all? No, the whole side is all cleared off. Well, sometimes, you know, with, without seeing it, it's hard to diagnose exactly what's going on. But I think that when um, foliage is dropping and you're not seeing new buds, if, if the um, branches are crispy, it's probably done. Probably time All to right. replace it. Okay, well, thanks for calling. Dirt. Let's go to Jerry now in Monona. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Hi, what's your question? I have a peace plant and it flowers real nice. But the leaves are kind of turning brown and then a little yellow. Isn't this your area of expertise? <laughs> I have a, I have a huge I have one. I've been with, told that you are I have a huge the one god with, of peace plants. I don't know what I'm doing with it. It just grows. You know, peace like peace in the world forever. Right. Yes, we yes, yeah, exactly. yep. I, I was told that if you use tap water, yes. that, that's not good for it. They do like, especially if it gets on the leaves, they like distilled water. So if you have like a water filter, it's better to filter out the water. Um, it also might be, again, if you've had it for a long time, it might be that it needs to a little bit of repotting. It's, that's, this is the time of year when you're going to start seeing that. Yeah. And, you know, they come, leaves die, right? They do. They do. Pick them off and... Pick them off and start over again. Yep. Oh, I don't know who's on this line. Ann is on the line. You go ahead. What's your question? I already t told it to somebody. Okay, could you could you repeat it for us? Sure. I have a stargazer lily plant that has three stalks in the pot. It has done blooming now, and I want to know if I can replant this stargazer lily outside in the spring. Yes, you can. You're going to want to cut off the spent flowers because it's going to try to go to seed and you don't want it to spend its energy doing that. Once the ground is not frozen and a lot of the moisture is out of the ground, go ahead and plant it in a sunny spot. Let the foliage yellow naturally and you should get flowers next year. Okay, let's go to Diane in Madison. Hi, Diane. Hi, how Hi. are you? Good, what's your question? My question is, hi, Linda, how are you guys? We're fine. Um, I have a uh, lot of tulip buds. They're in the ground. They're up under a gray big old tree that I have in my yard. And so I wanted to know what would be a really good time to uncover them, because if I uncover them too early, then the squirrels will get in there, and then they'll start digging them out, and, and, and then I'll lose them all. So should I just let, let them stay covered for... How long do you think should I let them cover, stay covered before I open them up? 
Well, I think that now that they that the ground is the snow is starting to thaw, it might be a good idea to start uncovering them. Um, if they start to grow and you've got stuff covering over them, then the the as the stuff comes up, it's going to get caught underneath your covering and sort of grow in an odd way, and it might affect the flowering. So I yeah. go ahead and uncover them now. Yeah. The squirrels. Nothing. Squirrels are after the bulbs more when you first plant them in the fall. There's a lot of stuff to eat right now as we get into the spring. So they're not going after those bulbs as much as they do when you first plant them. Right now they can't dig. The ground is frozen. Right. Absolutely. So, so spring's on the way. Spring's on the way. All right. Knock on wood. Lisa, thanks for coming in today. You're welcome. Thank you. If you're on the line, stay there. Lisa will talk to you off the air and we'll be right back with a final.